Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea and the Loveland Public Library. In continuance with our honor and celebration of Black History Month, we are going to read another Coretta Scott King award-winning book, and this one is called Tar Beach. It's by Faith Ringgold. And this book is part true and then also part made up. I will always remember when the stars fell down around me and lifted me up above the George Washington Bridge. Do you think she's really flying? Hmm, let's find out. I could see our tiny rooftop with Mommy and Daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey, our next door neighbors, still playing cards as if nothing was going on. And Bibi, my baby brother, lying real still on the mattress, just like I told him to, his eyes like huge floodlights tracking me through the sky. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical. Lying on the roof in the night with stars and skyscraper buildings all around me made me feel rich like I owned all I could see. The bridge was my most prized possession. So she's not really on a tar beach, right? She's on the roof of her building in a big city and the roof is made out of tar. And so when she lies on a mattress or a towel on the roof, it makes her feel like she's lying on the beach. And that's why she's calling it Tar Beach. And the bridge is her most prized possession. Daddy said that the George Washington Bridge is the longest and most beautiful bridge in the world and that it opened in 1931 on the very day I was born. Daddy worked on that bridge, hoisting cables. Since then, I've wanted that bridge to be mine. Now I have claimed it. All I had to do was fly over it for it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a giant diamond necklace or just fly above it and marvel at its sparkling beauty. I can fly, yes, fly. Me, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, only eight years old in the third grade, and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want for the rest of my life. So maybe sometimes she's flying over it. Sometimes she's wearing it like a necklace. Daddy took me to see the new union building he is working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and not fall. They call him the cat. But he still can't join the union because grandpa wasn't a member. Well, daddy is gonna own that building because I'm gonna fly over it and give it to him. Then it won't matter that he's not in their old union or whether he's colored or half-breed Indian like they say. She feels like if she flies over that building, then she can own it and give it to her daddy. He'll be rich and he won't have to stand on 24 story high girders and look down. He can look at his building going up. And mommy won't cry all winter when he goes to look for work and doesn't come home. And mommy can laugh and sleep late like Mrs. Honey. And we can have ice cream every night for dessert. Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory just to make sure we do. Because remember, in her imagination, when she flies over something, that means it belongs to her, right? Tonight we're going up to Tar Beach. Mommy is roasting peanuts and frying chicken, and Daddy will bring home a watermelon. 
Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring the beer in their old green card table. And then the stars will fall all around me and I will fly to the union building. And I'll take Baby with me. He's threatened to tell Mommy and Daddy if I leave him behind. I have told him it's very easy. Anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. And the next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. The end. So Tar Beach is a story about a girl who lives in a big city who doesn't like how hard her parents have to work and how sad it makes them. And so she wants to fly over all the buildings and bridges and make them her own so she can give them to her parents. So we have a craft that you can come pick up at the library, just some craft supplies. This is what's called a loose parts activity. So loose parts means it's just a bunch of random supplies and you can use those supplies to make whatever you want. And I'm challenging you right now to make either a bridge with your loose supplies or maybe a building. You decide. You can decide what you want. Miss Andrea made a bridge. It's not very good. So, but I started to make a bridge. But you can use the um, pipe cleaners or the craft sticks or some yarn or toilet paper rolls or whatever you have in your own house and make a bridge or a building or whatever you decide to make. And then if you want to, you can send me pictures of your creation. It's uh, at Andrea, A-N-D-R-E-A -E dot Cleland, C-L-E-L-A-N-D at cityofloveland.org. Thanks so much.